early in his round, he, he missed one on 10. So that one, take a little bit, add a little bit more pace, take the break out, and that was a well played hole, good four. Huge mystery. Had it going left a cup, cup and a half, and actually wandered right. Don't want to let this opportunity get away, and Thomas doesn't, so he picks up one with birdie. Top part here, it should just once it loses pace, move to his right. Could, probably the best stroke of the day, John. Good save. Keeps him at plus one. Thomas way down there, inside 100 yards here at the fourth. Just love the way he plays those shots, Craig. So adept at those, and that's usually the result. Wedge shot in here, and it's got a three-footer for his birdie. Terrific save for Justin Thomas at the third, and he follows it up with a birdie here at the fourth. That is a great look right there from behind as he brings this one in. The miss strike with the wedge at 17. He turned two over par. And to come home, if you make this, in 33, 38, 33. Second hole gave up 52 birdies in round one. Perfect line in the bunker. Plenty of green with which to work. Straight forward. for Justin Thomas. 13 wins at the age of 27. Not many better. Beautifully crafted. He shot down the right, second into the correct position, and the bunker save. Justin Thomas trying to follow Cantley's lead. Yeah, basically the same yardage. Goldwood maybe trying to get it inside Cantley. Oh, get it, at least get it whole high. Call to be true to who you are, and Justin Thomas has certainly done that through his career. Bingo. I wonder he's a cage line. He's ready. Ready to pounce on it. Good strike from Thomas back at the ninth. Looking for another here. Put some speed off that swing as well from 159. Gorgeous. That's all that's left for his birdie. Get it back to even. Get a little safer for the weekend. And JT just jams it home. The third for Thomas. Yeah, he talked about it coming over the bunker, closely mown, hitting on the down slope. Pretty fancy. Yes, it was. He worked very hard on this aspect of the game. Change in coach. About nine months ago to, to John Graham, the strokes always look good, but the belief is improving. Rehearsing various shots. He looks like he settled on like a down swinging low draw by the way he rolled the toe of the club face over. There we go. Trying to hit the low runner up the hill. Ooh, that's beautiful. That crushed. was that nice. Eagle. That was nice. Tasty. Not just 130 something yards. I don't think there's enough breathing room. <laughs> Fantastic touch, uh, imagination, well thought out, well executed. A little unlucky from Justin Thomas. I'll have to dig this one out of there. If the cut of that rough's going in the same direction as the line of the shot, that shouldn't be too big an issue. No, it was not. We'll line up the swing path a little better. Looking farther down this leaderboard, Victor Hovland, Gary Woodland, Terrell Hatton, Hideki Matsuyama. He had to make an eight-footer for par at the last today for the weekend. And Justin Thomas with a really positive uh, finish here today, Mark. So he will start Saturday, maybe just seven back. They're they're really really good. After a very uh, very average wet shot, uh, you know, I put in a spot where he just kind of feed it in there and just dribbled it in there. I left it in a good spot. I mean, I, I hit a really kind of a cool little Bubba Golf type shot in there. Just hooked an eight iron underneath the hole, and same thing. Had a pretty easy read and uh, got the speed right. At four, here's your second at the fourth. Yeah, after we finished the hole, I told Jimmy, uh, they don't really give many birdies as easy as that one if you hit the fairway. I mean, the pin's in a bowl. All you have to do is 
pretty much just uh, keep breathing and, and hit it somewhat straight and it's gonna just funnel right into it and, and control the spin. So it was nice to walk out of there with the three. Great highlights to get you to right away. How about Justin Thomas? Two under first two days. Birdie used one, two, three, four. Dropped the shot, but gets it right back with a birdie at seven. JT's on a roll. Three off the lead with a lot of golf ahead of him. Over at the tenth, Justin Thomas making the turn. 137 left at this par four. This hole's hugging that left hand side, and oh, he has man. hit a beauty. He is feeling it. He came into this championship. With high hopes, but really had not been playing the kind of caliber golf that we're used to from JT through the years. <laughs> Sounded like great contact, Zinger. Keep cutting. Got to cut right at the left edge of the green, trying to cut. Oh, there it's going to take that yep. feed to the right there, and that is fantastic. Boy. Chance for an eagle to tie the lead. Terrific speed. Maybe six under the first 11 holes and eight under par. Justin Thomas is uh, rocketed up the board. Tie for second and one back. 74 Matt Jones in round three. But the highlight of them all is second shot to 16 from Justin Thomas. Be the right club. And it was landed. today landed perfectly released nestling up within a couple of inches. Just academic really the tap in and the three 64 today for Justin. As Justin Thomas has his long birdie attempt at five. This was just earlier. Oh, he's carrying all kinds of speed there. Yeah, but he's been gaining ground, just cranking out pars. He hadn't made a putt yet. There you go. Yep, watch that in. Five straight pars for Thomas. Really go flag hunting here. You see that whole location over there in the back right part of the green. 132, such a great wedge player. Right over the top and able to bring it back with the spin. So over there, four feet from the right, he's got about that, or four paces from the right, I should say, he's got about that far for birdie. Now Justin Thomas over at the 10th for birdie. And Justin Thomas with back-to-back -back birdies. Boy, it looks like a pretty nice line from here. And he's looking at it like he likes it, drops Man. it in there softly, and Ju Justin Thomas will have an eagle putt from there. Yes. Just like that beauty on 16 yesterday. He discovered Justin Thomas again. And here it was just a, a moment ago to slip into the hole and slip past Westwood into the lead. He's actually turning this, and yeah. if this takes one bounce, it could be amazing. Well, it's there. Now it needs to slow down. A lot of confidence in that swing. And it's going to get all the way through the green, trickle down into a low area, but uh, not the hardest of shots from there. Yep, got it to check. Oh, this look is beautiful. Out. This is beautiful. This is his weapon, that wedge. <laughs> Gonna be an easy birdie. Oh, wow. There's one that might have a little run on it. There's your drill draw right there, fellas. Wow. How do you like look. that? It's a shot maker. That's you so seldom see that maybe with Bubba Watson going the other way. Off an upslope, and this is a gorgeous looking shot cutting into the left center of the green. Oh, when it hits and stops, that'll come down. Won't make it the whole way, but that's a beautiful shot. Now, almost everyone has left it to the right here, but that is uh, close to dead. Thomas takes the lead once more. 
with a couple of holes to play. Got it. Oh, oh, oh and a fist bump. We knew how important that was. He's playing that big right to left looper. Easy. It got close yesterday. Oh boy, that got an incredible first bounce. Yeah, it could have veered left. It's still going to go left, but it's it looks like it's going to stay dry for the second day in a row. Big hop, big hop. Just oh, short of the green. Yes, you think a two-putt par would be good enough. It would only be a whole lot miracle by the two guys behind him that would have a chance, but still a little work left for Justin Thomas. Chance to join that group. And that one is in. And that all but assures Justin Thomas of this championship. It matches the lowest closing 36 hole total in players championship history 12 under 132.